Hello, Rest of Aquarimax Pets here. This is a paleless whip scorpion or amblypigid breeding attempt. These are Damon diadema, captive bred individuals, a male and a female. The male is on the left. You can see he has much longer pedipalps in proportion to his uh, body size and uh, they extend past the uh, that joint on the first pair of walking legs. You can see that. Whereas the female on the right has much shorter pedipalps. I've been feeding these up. In preparation for this breeding attempt, I've talked uh, online to um, Gil Wisen. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Gil. He has been uh, working with amblypigids, tailless whip scorpions, for longer than I have and has a lot of experience breeding them and whatnot. He gave me some great tips. So, as you saw, I put the female into the males, or I, sorry, I put the male into the females enclosure. I've been uh, feeding them well. Gil mentioned that one of the problems that you can encounter is if the female hasn't eaten enough, she won't be receptive because she doesn't have enough energy to provide for the eggs. So uh, I have been feeding them really well over the past couple of weeks. They both had a meal today, and now uh, the male is. Uh, looking pretty interesting. He said it's usually the male is very interested and very ready to go. It's not always that case for the female, but we'll see how this goes. But I had a previous pair that produced spermatophores, which is uh, a structure the male produces. So one thing Gil mentioned is that uh, sometimes the female won't be receptive if she hasn't had enough food. And so I've been feeding these pretty plentifully over the past couple of weeks. And they had a, both had a meal today and took it. And so uh, they've been doing well as far as that goes. I think uh, I've been feeding them quite a bit over that past couple of weeks. So I think they're probably good there. There may be other reasons why she's not ready, but uh, generally these should be old enough. This is a captive bred pair I got from Kyle Candelian at Roach Crossing. Um, he didn't produce them, but he got them from someone else who uh, does work with them. And so he had those for sale. The other pair that I had I raised from very, very tiny whipplings. Uh, this pair were quite a bit smaller than this. I think it was not not March of 23, but March of 22, I want to say, when I got these. So they were quite a bit smaller. I've gone through quite a few molts. In this last molt, the male um, developed these much uh, larger pedipalps. He did say as well, Gil said, that when you uh, pair them, you want to do it within about one to three months of their last molt. And it's been about a month since their last molt, maybe a little longer than that. So I think we're, we're on track there. If it's too close to a molt, of course, it's not going to work. So they seem to be, uh, this seemed to be a good time. It's starting to cool down a little bit, and I'm not sure how that affects things. But we're going to give it a try. Generally, males and females can be housed together without uh, problems as long as one doesn't molt. Mature males and females, I should say. Uh, can often be housed together without problems as long as uh, one doesn't molt. When they do, one will often knock the other one off of its molting platform or they'll eat it or whatever. So um, don't have to worry about that right now. But I will have to keep a close eye on these. Hopefully I will get some offspring. I would love to uh, breed these. This would be my first time breeding amblypigids. I had a previous pair that produced spermatophores, which is uh, a structure the male produces. Uh, those hold the sperm and he kind of guides the female over it so she can take it into her body. I've had them produce those, but I've never had a female produce uh, a brood sac. So I hope that she does. And uh, I will keep you posted on this project. Thank you for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts as well during the week. Uh, please feel free to share, rate, comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.